Hammer speed. Hey, what's good guys? It's your boy Gmarcus TV back with a brand new video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, I'm doing a music video review on Kendrick Lamar's new song, The Heart Part 5. But it's a dope Marvin Gaye sample that they took from him from years ago. <laughs> Like, oof, like, he killed the beat. Seeing this, the goosebumps that I had, this was one of the best videos I've seen ever. And the thing that's so crazy, it's a simple video. The video on point, the song was fire. He's moved to my top 10. Of course I do this shit. I had to beat your boy King Astro. <laughs> I had to beat his to this because I know that he's about to get on this like real, real, real quick. I'll start off with the video, of course. The video was just so freaking good. Like that shit is art. That's a video right there. It should be in the hip hop museum. It's just Kendrick in a white t-shirt and a black bandana. Like, and he's just in the same spot the whole time. Of course, it was a simple video, but he photoshopped the hell out of his face. He was OJ Simpson in the video. He was Kanye West in the video. He was Jussie Smoglet, the guy from Empire. He was Kobe Bryant. He was Will Smith. And of course, the late Nipsey Hussle. And I'm just like, wow. The Nipsey part caught me off guard. He's rapping. Like, Nipsey sent a message to his family, friends, and fans through Kendrick. Like, he's rapping like, yo, this is Nipsey talking, this is how I'm talking to you. The other ones, he didn't really go in that much for it. So me, I'm gonna just give you some of the lyrics that I thought was fire. I said I do this for my culture, to let you know what it look like in a bulletproof. Like, so one of the things that stood out to me, he says, analyze what's your life, take to charge. Homies that f your baby mama once you hit the yard. That's culture, 23 hour lockdown. That someone called said your little nephew was shot down. The culture's involved. I done seen do 17, hit the halfway house, get out and get his brains blown out, looking to buy some weed. Wow. That part right there really stood out to me, really got me right there. Like, it was actually like a paint in the picture for me. As soon as you go to jail, they're going to f*** your baby mama. Like, they're going to bang your girl, bang your wife, whatever. I was like, wow. That one was really cool. And I think another thing I liked about this was... He didn't change up his voice or nothing like that. He didn't play a character. He t he just rapped. It was really freaking good. Like, yo, Kendrick, I'm really mad this man was not in my top 10 because I got all his albums. So, this is when he puts on the Kanye face. And the Kanye face, he says, Ain't no photoshopping. Friends bipolar. Grab your by your pockets. No option if you froze up. I always play the outfit. The Jesse smell out part, I didn't really get that too much. Like, it was just like, I'm... Not a big fan of that dude, so I can't lie to you. Like, I did not see. He could have definitely gave it to somebody else. So I'm really going to just skip over that part. Like, him, I'm not really feeling that guy at all. Of course, y'all know the situation where he lied about being beat up in Chicago. The Kobe part was just so interesting. Because it's really funny. It's like, I don't know, maybe it's just, like, the moment. It's calling the moment. But it was like, they kind of look similar. The way, like, when he transferred into Kobe, it wasn't, they wasn't too far off as far as the look was concerned. This is synchronized and crystal clear. Euphoria is glorified and made his. Reflecting on my life and what I done. It was like, I don't know, maybe I'm bugging. Did y'all catch that? Comment down below if y'all caught that. But that was also like a dope part of the verse right there. And then the one that stands out, the one that was shocking, that was so crazy. That everybody, of course, Nipsey Hustle verse. Where it's like he's basically talking as he's Nipsey Hustle. To my brother, to my kids, I'm in heaven. To my mother, to my sis, I'm in heaven. To my father, to my wife, I am serious. This is heaven. And of course, the Nipsey Hustle verse. Like, that one right there, I know a lot of people cried watching that shit. Like, listening to that, watching it. Like, whew. The thing that's so crazy, if you didn't see that video, you knew exactly that was coming from Nipsey Hustle. That's what's so crazy about it. Like, the visual made it pop. It was the visual that was just like, wow. And Sam, I'll be watching over you. Make sure my kids watch all my interviews. For me, it was chills. Like, it was like a lot of chills for me. I'm like, damn and the thing is he wrote the verse so damn good like you could tell he took his time because you know kendrick he takes like four years just to drop a freaking album you know how that's how kendrick is like damn was like whoa that was like damn yeah five years ago but i could see him working on this verse for months to my fans make sure you make them investments until the killer despaired at my demise I forgive you, just know your souls in question. Comment down below, do you guys think that Nipsey forgave the killer? Like, do you think so? Like, ah, like that? Speechless is one of those like real, real like speechless smokes. Like, damn. Like he really, 
part right there where he said, make sure my kids watch all the interviews, that one got me right there. If you're familiar with Nipsey Hussle, he has like thousands of freaking interviews on YouTube. Like every single where. Like the knowledge you get from those interviews, hey, if you have not watched the Nipsey Hussle interview, I would suggest you guys watch it. Like he definitely gives you some good gems. Like, especially them Nipsey Hussle motivation videos. If you're a person that you're weak, like you just feel like you're tired, you're lazy, you don't want to go to work, something like that, it's like put in, put in YouTube, Nipsey Hustle Motivation video. But that was a great way to end the song off. With Nipsey, like to end it off like that, like the big surprise at the end, that was really, really good. Shout out to Kendrick. The fact that this is not going to be on the album, wow. Like, wow. This song right here was freaking fire. Like, I love this song right here. Like, I have no complaints about it. This video was a perfect 10. Like, the fact that this man was in the same space the whole freaking time and just rapping his he spent like his life depending on it. The writing for that? He's a true lyricist. Commercial success? You gotta give it to Cole, but, but as far as being a writer? Nah. Cole is not with Kendrick. So guys, that is the end of the video. Like I said, I have no complaints about this video. This video, it's a solid freaking 10, like 10 plus. Like this is the best video I've seen of the year. Like if there's a better video out there, definitely let me know, link in the comment, put it in the comment. I will definitely like, I would love to see it because I don't think any video is topping this year. This video was fire. Tell me what you guys think, what you thought about it. Am I overhyping the song? Is the song solid? Is it good? What you guys think about it? I loved it. Did you love it? Did you hate it? What you thought about it? Are you waiting? Are you going to get that Kendrick album? It's coming, guys. It's coming. It's coming next week, Friday. So definitely be on the lookout. Love you guys. Thank you guys. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be back with a video every single week. Got it. That's a wrap.